All right, so we said that our sensors can only um, capture the reflected energies. Um, and also different objects re reflect the different amount of the energies once they received. And actually, uh, they also reflect different amount of energies in different wavelengths. OK, uh, so for example, let's say uh, this is a wavelength. So that is from, uh, for example, 0 to 100. I just assume, and also this is an object. So the object reflect. There's one object that probably they reflect a little bit amount of energy, like ten percent in the short wavelength, and also reflected um, reflect twenty percent in the longer wavelength, and also reflect thirty percent uh, in the even longer wavelength. Okay, so the for one specific object or for one specific material that in different wavelengths, so wavelengths, the reflections they reflected will be different. Okay, might might be different. And depending on what object we are talking about, that so probably this is object A. a. Object A has such unique uh, reflections. And for object B, so the reflection might look like this. So they reflect most part of energies in the short wavelengths and less part of the energies in the longer wavelengths. Okay, so that's the uh, reflection for the object B. And so each different type of the material or the object that on the Earth, they tend to have something that's a slightly different reflections among the wavelengths and that is what we call it the spectral profiles okay so the spectral profiles are very very useful that can help us to determine what type of the object remember that for the remote sensing we want analyze and we want to analyze the object without touching it so we cannot get samples and also send samples to do analysis. We can only take air photos or images and also air photos images will only collect reflections in different wavelengths and we analyze the wavelengths in different uh, the reflection in different wavelengths and we can decide okay so what are the objects so that is uh, uh, the spectral profile. Okay, so let's look at one detailed example. So for example, if you look at the soil, the red line here, we can see the soil tend to have uh, less or lower reflections in the uh, shorter wavelengths, and also tend to have high reflections, uh, more reflection in the near visible band. With, remember that the visible band near infrared and also have longer, uh, more reflections, so reflections uh, in the longer wavelength band. So that is soil. And if we look at the vegetations, in this case is uh, vegetable, we can see that it has very relatively high reflections in this band. Uh, if you remember that the previous slide, so the, those this band is a green band. Okay, so that's the why that we we see most vegetables are in green. So we can say they have relatively longer high reflection in green band, and they have huge high reflection in the near infrared band. OK, uh, and if we look at the water, we can say water, generally water have lower reflections, OK, uh, but it has longer reflection in the blue band. OK, um, but generally water has lower uh, reflections and for clean water, it is similar. OK, for clean water, it is similar. So uh, they they have the lowest reflections in the near infrared band. OK, so the spectral ref profile, that means that objects 
has the unique reflections in different range of the wavelengths. And such unique feature can help us to, dis uh, to distinguish the objects. All right. So let's see some examples. Uh, let's say that we have this air photo and uh, that air photo is taken in this visible band. Okay, it's taken in this visible band and the target so that the target reflection of the target uh, is like this. Okay, it's taken in this band. Uh, so what is uh, what is the target? So is the target soil, vegetable, or water? Okay, so this image is taken in this band. So are you able to tell that? Okay, so what is type of this object? Is that soil, water? Or the vegetable. Actually, it is very hard because in this visible band, we can see the difference is small. So the difference among soil, vegetables, and also water are small. So if we look at another band, now we can see the difference between soil and also the others are, are, are larger. Okay, and this one is dark. So now this one has become uh, more dark in the near infrared. So uh, hopefully you will have a high confidence. So it's it looks like it might be either vegetable or water. If it is not the soil, because for the soil it will have high reflections. So it should be whiter if that has high reflections. Okay. But still, we are not 100% sure that is that vegetable or is that uh, a water. OK, so now let's move on to the this uh, band. In this band, we can see that, OK, this is totally dark. This is totally black. And all the other parts are white. So it's totally black. So that means the reflection is very, very low. So if we check uh, the spectral profile, we can see in that band, so this photo is taken in this band, in that band, re reflection is very, very low, that can be water. Okay, it cannot be soil and it cannot be vegetable because for vegetables and also soils, they have very high reflections. Okay, so it will be, it will be very bright on this image, but the starting area is very dark. And we can now we are, we will be sure that okay so this start area is this this spot is water. 